Hi, welcome to the latest propertyinvesting.com video blog. Today we're going to be talking about site acquisitions. And for our business, Your Style Homes, we operate out of Brisbane uh, up in Queensland. Today I'm standing in Newmarket, I'm standing out the front of a site that we've just acquired. So I'm going to summarise this into five steps that we follow from signing a contract with a due diligence clause through to actually proceeding with that contract. And the first step really is around talking to our town planner. He's the first person that we would call when looking at a site like this. So he will do a desktop analysis and he will really identify any risks and issues with a particular site. He'll do all of the searches, he'll check for easements, he'll check for the planning zones, he'll check for anything relating to the site, let us know, and then we can make decisions from that. He'll ensure that we can get stormwater in and out of the site, check that sewer's available, all of those sort of issues, he will go off and address those. He will also then advise us of any items that we need to prepare in our plans, which is step two. So step two, we'll then be talking to an architect. We'll get that feedback from our town planner and we'll do a basic mud map of what we can achieve on the site. Now there's no real detail of the internal of the dwellings at this time. So it's really just high level boxes of how big either apartment or townhouse we wanna do. And then there's a whole heap of other detail that we need to do to meet the town planning requirements. So that'll be setbacks to boundaries, that'll be car parking allocations, making sure our driveways are wide enough, we can get the bins on the site or they will be on the street. There's a whole heap of town planning issues that we need to address. So there'll be a bit of a mud map of what is, can be achieved on the site and from there we can work out our yield. And the yield means how many apartments or townhouses can we get on that particular site. Once we've got that, we can then talk to builders or a quantity surveyor about working out some basic numbers around construction. We'll then talk to the builders and they will be able to give us a reasonably good idea of what that particular building will cost to construct. And once we've got all of that information, then we go back to our town planner. We get him to review all of those plans. We get him to assess whether we can actually do it or not. He'll then identify the risks. If it will be a, up here, they call it an impact assessable or a code assessable. If it's code accessible, we're basically ticking all the boxes. If it's impact accessible, we're not ticking the boxes and we'll need to negotiate with council on some of those items. So now that we've dealt with our town planner, our architect who's drawn up our plans and the builder to get some pricing, we need to come up with a feasibility. So we'll put all of those numbers into the feasibility. We'll identify our acquisition costs, all our other costs associated with the build, any council fees, any holding costs, any selling costs, marketing costs, we'll put that all into a feasibility and we basically, it will produce a number at the end, a profit that we can either make and realistically that number needs to be around that 18 to 22% for the projects that we're doing. If we can tick that box, the last step really is just making it a decision on the project, whether we're going to proceed or not. So to summarise the five steps, step one is talk to our town planner, he'll identify risks of the site. Step two, talk to your architect, get some basic plans done, some mud maps. Step three, talk to your builder and just make sure that you've got your construction prices sorted and that you can build what you're proposing. You then get all those people together and ensure that you're happy through those first three phases. Step four, prepare your feasibility, make sure your numbers stack up. And step five is really just make your decision to either proceed with the contract or walk away. And really, you've got to make sure that you do these five steps really accurately. There's no point getting into a contract and then figuring this information out and being stuck with a lemon. So due diligence is really the most important process in any development. You make your money when you buy, and obviously this stage is where you avoid all of your mistakes. You make sure you cover everything off. Hope you got some value out of this update, and we'll see you on the next one.